To import a CSV file into a Notion database or table, you can click the three dot menu, select import, and that will open up this box where you can click CSV. Or you can just be down here in the page, click the slash command, CSV, press return. That will open directly into the file picker. Choose the CSV file you'd like to import, click open. Notion will process that in the background and when it's done, it will give you the link to it right here. Click this link and that will open up your data. That's the main way to do it. But let's say that you have the original data and then you've done some more work or new form submissions have come in. To add those, we can export as CSV, save those to our desktop, come over to Notion, click the three dots up here. Instead of importing, we want to merge because we want to keep these in the same database. So we'll click Merge with CSV, select our new desserts, click Open, and now it's going to import and add these to the bottom of our list. So that's just another way to import a CSV if you already have a database and are wanting to add rows to it. Now a key thing here is you do have to have a matching header row, uh, and if there are any of the existing rows in the new CSV file, it will add them. It will not match and replace, so just keep that in mind. Now, if you're wanting to export a CSV to go the other direction, you can click these three dots up here, export, markdown and CSV, current view, or if you'd prefer the default view, you can, and then export. It's going to ask you for a name, Notion Desserts, and click Save. You can then unzip it, and if you would like to open that in something like Google Sheets, you can go to File, Import, Upload. We can go over here and grab this, pull it down. It's going to bring it in, and we can say uh, insert a new sheet in the existing one, detect automatically. So we import our data, and there we go. Now we have it in Sheets. We can work with this and send it back over. Now, if you find yourself moving data between Sheets and Notion or Airtable and Notion quite frequently, then I highly recommend you check out WhaleSync. WhaleSync is a tool that we created that keeps your data in sync between both apps. So any edits that you make in Notion will show up in Google Sheets, and any edits that happen in Google Sheets will make their way back to Notion.